This is a brief video demonstration and breakdown of my latest scripting endeavor. I have scripted a shadow to move. Just kidding, I have scripted a platform to move. Now, this might be quite simple to most. We are simply just translating an object from one point to the other. But there's a couple, uh, you know, things about this platform that are a bit more special. So, without further ado, let's go ahead up here and see what those things are. Now, one of them you can't actually see just because the platform's functioning normally. But the other is, we can stand on this platform and it keeps us with it. I won't lie, it is janky, it looks pretty bad. Um, and it kind of sucks, but, you know, this engine doesn't really give us the option to put friction on platforms, so this is the best thing that I could come up with. You know, I can walk around freely, as janky as it is, um, and, I, you know, I can fight here and stuff, and it's just, it just, it just looks bad, but it functions 100% perfectly. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and have a gander at that script. So, the other special thing that you could not really see about this platform is that this platform can move anywhere you put it. So what it is doing is it is grabbing its current position, then we are adding 50 on the x-axis to that position, translating it to that point for 5 seconds, then we are doing the exact same thing, but we are then subtracting 50 from the x-axis for, for 5 seconds. One second. As is tradition on these videos, I always have to fucking burp for some reason. I apologize for the language, I probably shouldn't cuss. I don't know who's watching. Um, but yeah, that's our platform. It, we can, you know, just to show you, show you, just, I'll move it up and over here or whatever. And look at that. It's still doing the thing. That's, that's quite fantastic. That's amazing. It's incredible. But let's go ahead and get into the math that it took to make it so you can stand on the stupid thing. The stupid thing. The stupid thing. That's perfect. Thank you. Okay. And the other function is right down here. So this is how we are, you know, keeping the player on it. Um, we're working with a few variables here, and those variables are its current position and its previous position, uh, aptly named kerpos and prepos. So every n seconds, we are setting its previous position to its current position, and then we are setting the current position. Then for each player inside this area, on the condition that they are not airborne, we are setting their position to the result of this math. And what this math is is actually quite simple. All we are doing is grabbing its current position, subtracting it from the previous position, which will give us, you know, the distance between the two. Then we are going to take that result, add it to our player's current position, leaving out the z-axis because we only want the character to go forward, left, left, right, back, etc., etc. We don't want them to go up and down and then we are plugging that result into our position. And this is actually not important, that's just debugging. But yeah, that's how it works. Uh, again, just going over it one more time. We gotta declare our variables. I'm starting them at zero, zero, just to give them initial value, just to be, you know, 100% certain that everything is A-OK. -okay. Um, and then again, we are grabbing our variables. We're setting our variables for each player in the area on the condition that they are not airborne we will set their position to this math. So this is what you gotta do in order to keep a player on a platform because this game, again, cannot handle that. You just kinda slip and slide right off it, which is dumb and I hate it. Um, but honestly, because that is technically how it all works, the only thing that kinda sucks about it is if we could make this smaller, then, uh, you know, it would work. What this, what every end set, by the way, the video is technically done, this is the part where I just ramble. You know, the, the script is good to go. Here it is, enjoy, have a look at it, it's nice and pretty. Nice, okay, you're done looking? Alright, alright, now I'm ramble. So, what every end seconds basically translates to whenever we are dealing with set object position, etc, etc, this is literally our frame rate. We are moving at 10 frames a second here whenever we are doing something like this. If we could make this number smaller, we could move at a higher frame rate. So we've got a game running at 60, 120, 140, whatever your maximum super awesome big PP computer is letting you move and you're forcing your game to essentially run at 10 FPS when you're standing on this thing. Uh, which, uh, unfortunately, there is no workaround. I've tried some pretty wacky stuff to make it work, but it does not. Um, what else can I say about this thing? I don't know, it's a platform that moves, you can move it anywhere. Yeah, just you know, mess with this stuff. I have it ease in and ease out to make it look nice and pretty. If we set it to linear, it wouldn't have that nice little gradual, you know, 
that nice little smooth, that smoothness to it. That's Forge Lag. It's not my script. The script is fine. It's smooth. I don't know. I don't really got nothing else, but it's nice, and I hope you enjoy it, and I hope you enjoyed the explanation. Um, if there is anything unclear about this video, uh, please let me know, and I'll do better in the future. You know, Submit customer complaints to the service department. I'm stupid. <laughs>